so this is the actual post which is now appearing on google search results after putting it to this indexed field and after getting the index done hello viewers this is for of you once again welcome to this new video where i'm going to show you how you can do manual indexing of any new blog post from your website so that whenever google is not picking it up or if they're not indexing your website automatically you will be able to help them by sending an index request so let me show you the difference between unindexed and indexed search results for example let me just take you here uh, for one blog post from my website let me take you to home and let's see this one the entry tutorial guideline for beginners so i'm going to type out this this post is indexed already so let me show you what it will show us the entry tutorial for beginners and then i'm going to put learners world and we are going to find the search result as you can see learners to world the entry tutorial beginners guideline this is the website which is appearing directly here so this website or this blog post is already been indexed which is this one to google search results but when i'm going to type out this information create a portfolio website without coding so let me just remove this part from here and i'm going to type create a portfolio website without coding and if now if i just make a google search then just just take a look we are seeing the basic home page of learners world although you are seeing this part here so if i just click here and open it you are going to see learners.world here all right so this is not the actual page of the blog post which is which is the let me just take you here okay this one okay so actually here it is opened all right so it's not picking up the actual blog post and if you just notice here then you will find let me just type out control plus f so that we are going to see this part appeared search filter so i'm going to put learners dot world to find out my website and if you just notice here for the first 100 results which are on this page there are no only one learners world matching which is the first one all right so and this is containing the home page but we are looking for the actual post so let's go to the next page and now if i just put control plus f in my keyboard then it is going to find zero results so that means the post is hasn't been indexed and i have made this post on february 25th and today is already 20, uh, february 28th so let's say today's date so today is february 29th so it's already been four days but it haven't yet uh, indexed for google search results so now let me show you what you can do to index your new blog post so that whenever someone is going to make a search using these keywords they are going to find your results it will help your google search ranking all right so let's type out here google search console and after that hit enter and then open the first link google search console and then just take a look improve your performance on google search so let's click on start now and you will find basic details of or the performance reports of your website which you have listed so here i have got learners.world already listed so let me just copy this url from here which is the actual url of this blog post create a portfolio website without coding so let me just copy this uh, url and after that we have to do inspect any url so let's inspect it paste and hit enter retrieving data from google index to show us if it is already been indexed just take a look url is not on google so the the page is not in the index but not because of an error so there are no errors see the details below to learn why it it wasn't indexed so basically google index a web page periodically so they might going to take maybe two or three more days and it is really late so in case if you have a vital topic or in case if you have a topic which is uh, right now in trending then you should have it available on google as soon as possible so what you can do you just have to come up here and after that paste the url here which you want to index 
and after that they will sh show you this part url is not on google so here is the button which you have to use request indexing so i'm going to click on request indexing and this might take a minute or two and they're testing if the the url is live or not okay so let's just wait and let's see what appears here or help them index your website okay so submitting request as you can see so that means my web page is as you can see here indexing requested url was added to priority crowd queue so whenever they are going to uh, index any website periodically they are actually going to give a priority to index our web page all right so it's already been seven minutes when i send the index request to google search console so let me just try if it already took our web page or not so let's just copy the url again from here and i'm going to put it to this inspect section so let's just click on paste and let's hit enter and it is going to retrieve the data from google index Wow, just take a look. URL is on Google. So our web page is now indexed by Google Search Console. And I believe we are going to find the results on Google Search result as well. So let's just try it out on this video so that you will get some proof as well. So I'm going to type out here. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have already got the search keyword here. Create a portfolio website without coding. And then I have got my learner's world website name, which is this one. So we can actually reload this page just take a look the current results okay so it will be updated if i just um, uh, reload this one so what we can do we can go here and make a new search with the same keyword and just take a look create a portfolio website without coding learners world so this is the actual post which is now appearing on google search results after putting it to this indexed field and after getting the index done all right and let me just open this link to see or to show you the actual result here okay so let's just go a little bit down create a portfolio website without coding this is the actual post and now people are going to be able to read the uh, find the blog post on google search results and they'll be able to read the blog post and so on so I hope you have found some great value from the video and if you have found the value please give this video a like and share this video to help your friends as well and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn about blogging, how to make money online, affiliate marketing, website building etc. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.